Today I'll be showing you how to make a paper popper like this one. So when it pops, it's really loud, so you could use it on your friends. But I don't have any friends, so I just use it on my brother. So when you pop it, it makes a really loud sound. I'll be showing you how to make one of these today. So let's get started. You need one piece of printer paper, 8.5 by 11. So first you want to fold it lengthwise and increase. Unfold it and then fold one edge to the middle. Increase. Now fold the edge that you just folded on to the middle again. And then you could fold it, and then you want to fold it like this. So you're just rolling it over. And just flatten it out. And roll it over one more time. So you rolled it over two times in total. And then you could like push it back. So you make sure there's no excess paper. And just flatten everything out. And crease. Okay, so now... You want to curve it in the middle a bit because you want to fold it from folded in half. So you just want to fold it from that edge to that edge and then just fold it like that. It's really hard to crease, so you can just flatten it out. Okay, so now how to make it into that shape. You want to just push these two edges down. You just want to push it to a, push it once or twice. Or maybe five times. Or twenty. And then, once you feel like it's flexible enough, you just push it, you just, look, so, you just push it down, and then, you would just push this part up. And flatten it out. <clears throat> so, to pop it, you really just need to throw it down. Like you're throwing a ball down. So, like this. Now, once you popped it, it will unfold like this. Once you unfold it. And then, to reload it, you just... Fold it again, roll it over, and fold it in half, and just push these two down again. And then we'll come back to this shape. Like this. Sorry for blocking it. I had to pick the camera up. And yeah, you can just pop it again. And yeah, thanks for watching. For, don't forget to like and subscribe.